you were targeted by him, Katie. Tell us what that feels like. I mean, you, throughout the campaign, he would single you out. He would taunt you in front of these crowds. He'd have. Wh- what was that like? Um, you know, it's it is it is what it is. I I you know this, John. No reporter likes being a part of the story, and um, it got to a point where it was extraordinarily hard to to separate myself from the attack. Um, but listen, I, I, I don't want to say it goes with the territory because that sort of thing should not go with the territory. But at the same time, we're living in a new landscape. And any time where you, where you allow it to take over your reporting, allow it to um, you know, move the significant porting, reporters aside, I think is, it can be a bit of a, um, a, bit of a, a distraction. That being said, it was it's a, it's something that is very um, very indicative of Donald Trump's mindset and and who how he operates. If you are not saying glowing things about him, you're an enemy. If you, you know, get... we are the opposition party, how dare you? How dare you not take everything he says as 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 gospel? And how dare you not you know uh, applaud his his effort to change everything in this country? After all, he won the election. Uh, the, but there's just very little acknowledgement that he won the election by a very narrow margin and he didn't win the popular vote. And not only is he trying to change things, nobody's going to argue with trying to change Washington because Washington's been in such a, a disgraceful stalemate for so many years. He's doing so by by really testing the boundaries of our demo, democratic uh, institutions and whether or not our constitution is strong enough to stand up to somebody like Donald Trump. 